I know when we played Australia in Sri Lanka, they were massive support and I think that really, you know, gave them a lot of encouragement. I know in Australia there are a lot of Sri Lankans and I know they are really behind their team. So we expect them to come on the 16th and support them. Spectacular. Absolutely brilliant. Slightly outside. Hello everyone, I'm at Junction Oval over here in Melbourne and you can see the mighty Sri Lankans are getting prepared with me, the respective team manager, none other than Mr. Mind Halangoda. Welcome to Australia, welcome to Melbourne. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> of course, you can see the players in the background getting prepared. Tell Mahinda how the Sri Lankan team is focusing for World Cup T20. Well, we had a uh, session in uh, Kandy. Actually, we travelled all the way to Kandy and uh, we had a training program for about five days. And uh, that was before we came. And we came only yesterday, that was on the third morning. So I think still the guys are getting used to the weather. It's quite cold here, unlike in Colombo. So you can see uh, we are having the first session in uh, Junction Oval. So hopefully within the next two days, I think, you know, we'll be ready for the big... Uh, Absolutely. Big the whole Sri Lankans over here believe we got a very strong team. The young blood has come together and of course they are getting prepared after becoming the Asian champions. How the boys reading right now the incoming tournament? Uh, well, I, I think the win in Asia Cup really boosted their, you know, they were really motivated and uh, that gave a big boost. And uh, definitely the, the important thing I think in this team is, as you said, we have quite a lot of young guys and most importantly i think they are working as a team you know they, we didn't have like big stars everybody contributed in some of the games you know at least one or two put their hand up and contributed and that made the difference absolutely uh, touching on you no stars is a one team i think the most of the sri lankans also believe in that so on 16 we have the first match in Geelong as scheduled but on lemon the sri lankan cricket is organizing a gala dinner we got the license officer over here in Victoria chapter, Mr. Malik Zavir. He's leading the team. How would that go? Well, uh, we were informed by Sri Lanka Cricket. That's going to be the only official function the players will be attending. And uh, we would like to invite all Sri Lankans and even the Australians who want to meet the team, the players. This is a big opportunity for them. Obviously, they can take some selfies and, you know, and uh, as I know, it will be the only official function. So we hope all of you all actually go ahead and buy your tickets to and come and meet your heroes. Absolutely. On 11th, we like to see you. And on 16th, Namibia on 16th at g -Lock. Everyone should come. Final touch. Everyone is believe in Sri Lankan Den to support the Lions. Ab Say a final word to Sri Lankans over here. Absolutely. We really appreciate uh, the support. I know when we played Australia uh, in, in Sri Lanka, there were massive support and I think that really, you know, gave them a lot of encouragement and I think uh, the results show that and actually we beat Australia in the, the ODI series and uh, the crowd support was really, you know, gave them a huge boost. So we hope there will be, I know in Australia there are a lot of Sri Lankans and I know they are really behind their team. So we expect them to come on the 16th and support them. Guys, you're watching, I'll tell you, a professional personality who's taking care of the team. He's the manager of the team now then, Mahind Halangoda. So the news from here, on 16th, Sri Lankans is taking over Namibia and 18th, they'll play against the UAE. Let's support Sri Lankans and come over to Geelong and before that on 11th, that's a gala dinner, it's over to you, buy the tickets and support the Sri Lankan cricket.